when I grew up, it was very much faith and, and life were just kind of integrated. It was very much part of the air you breathed. When I came to England, I came to school here, and um, I suppose I came under a kind of Ursuline influence. It was the same style of kind of influence because it was just immediately post-war. And though that was kind of regarded as a very grey period, grey as a colour, and it was a very formative period, you know, free education had just come along, free secondary education, and um, healthcare was just kind of around the corner, and it was a very hopeful kind of time. And it was a time of great religious zeal, and the convent was kind of very alive and a very active place. I suppose what I wanted to do was work with ordinary people and because this school had become comprehensive in 1945 and I was kind of part of that, um, it was just that was the style of life I wanted to live and place the kind of education I wanted to work with, with everybody having the same education and that was what happened. So I just joined the convent and I went on from there and I spent most of my life here. And I got involved in teaching English to sisters abroad because we are an international institute and everybody needs to know English now and some of that developed very strongly. Oddly enough because I was very keen on going on the missions I didn't go to university I went to a training college because I didn't want to find myself on the missions working in a very grand grammar school. Um, I then began teaching here and I suppose it was this thing about you know it's it's very much part of the locality, it's very much part of education for everybody and it's a tremendous sense of opportunity and I wanted to stay here so I didn't necessarily, I didn't ever ask to go on the missions is what happened. I was head teacher at Wimbledon and I went there in 1968, it was the last year of being a grammar school and then in 1975 I came here to St Andrews Erstein Convent Forest Gate and I was head teacher here for 17 years. I think the role of the Ursuline sisters has been very much in education and that's the part that I've picked up, the benefit I've had from it. I, I suppose the most difficult thing is when you don't get it right and there are obviously times when you don't get it right and you can't put the, put the clock back or when you feel that you could have done something differently but you can't change the circumstances. It's, as in any kind of teaching, you're incredibly privileged, you know, you suddenly find you've made a breakthrough with somebody. Um, and sometimes you've actually been able to make quite a radical difference in somebody's life and that makes a lot of difference. Click the videos to watch more Londoners and don't forget to subscribe.